The direct object always occurs with a transitive verb. It is typically the person or thing undergoing the action. So for example, when you say you hit me, the word me is a direct object. In Clallam, the direct object is indicated as an ending suffix of the verb. The most important factor in Kalalam is whether the person doing the action, which we call the actor, is in control. For example, when you say, I look at it, the actor I is in control of the action. When you look at something, you do it on purpose. On the other hand, when you say, I see it, the actor I isn't necessarily in control. When you see something, you may not be doing it on purpose. It may be accidental. The ending T on a verb indicates that the actor is in control. The ending with NU on a verb indicates that the actor is not in control. For example, quent means look at it, while quenu means see it. The word quent and quenu have the same root, quen, but different suffixes. One has a T and one has a NU. On some Klallam words, the root may stand alone, but the root in these two words, quen, may not. The root of a word is what is left when a suffix and prefix are removed. Here is a table over object pronouns in our model sentences. Can you help me? Pronounce. Pronounce. And you folks help me? Pronounce. Hi. And you help us? And you folks help us? Uh, I help you. Uh, we help you. And I help you. Well, I help you folks. Uh, we help you folks. And I help him. We help him. Uh, you help him. And you folks help him. And he helps him. The object endings meaning me and you have the same form. The ending T is the control maker. If it is followed by the C, the T is dropped. If it's followed by nothing, the object is an understood him, her, it, or them. Also, the us suffix, unish, is always stressed. There are no example given for he, she, it, they help me, for he, she, they, it help you. To express a me or you object with a he, she, it, or they subject, Klaum uses a passive construction. To express a me or you object with a he, she, it, or they subject, Clallam uses the passive construction. If we look at this pattern here, we've got quenangatang zen and quenangatang tu. And this would be the only difference. There's no example given for he, she, it, or they help me, or for he, she, it, they help you. A special construction is needed to translate such sentence. To express a me or you object with a he, she, or it subject, then Clallam uses the passive construction. Here's our Quinelli. Who I ought? Oh, Quinelli's chair. Quinelli's time. Hot and 